Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Skylum Software have updated Luminar Neo to version 1.1. This version of Luminar Neo has a new feature, Portrait Background Removal. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use this new feature found in Luminar Neo. Before I begin, just let me mention that I am using a beta version of Luminar Neo. So when Portrait Background Removal is released, it may look and perform a bit differently than what you're seeing in this video. Now I have this stock photo of a model standing on the street. I want to clip away the background. I just want the model all by herself. So to get to portrait background removal, make sure you're in the edit panel. It's found under layer properties, under masking, and it's right here, portrait background. Now when I click on it, you'll notice quickly that Luminar looks at the image. It's finding the model and it's finding the background. And now I want to remove the background, so just click on the Remove button. Now I purposely chose this image because it doesn't do a perfect job. Uh, it almost does though. If you look around her coat, it's really perfect. And actually her hair may look a little funky, but it's actually fine, and I'm going to prove that to you in a moment. It's just her flyaway hair that it cut away. But there is an issue right here. It has a piece of the background here, so we need to refine this. To do that, go to the refinements brush. And there's actually three brushes here. You have a background brush. Use that whenever you want to remove something from the image. You have an object brush. Use that whenever you want to keep something in the image. And you have a transition brush. Use that right along the transition area, like say between her coat and the background. And I'm going to be doing a second image in a moment where I'll show you how to use the transition brush. But right now, this is very simple. I just need to remove this little piece of the background. So I'm going to use the background brush. And I'm going to get a smaller brush right here. And then I'm just going to paint on this. And you'll see the overlay goes on there, let go. And in a second, it's gone. When you're done with the tool, close down refinements brush. And then you can close down layer properties. Now we have the model clipped out from the background. Why? <laughs> well, we want to drop her into a different scene. So to do that, what we need to do is export this image from Luminar. So go up to the export dialog, export to disk. And I'm going to give it the name winter only because I mentioned I'm going to be doing a second example and I'll call that summer so I know which is which. And this is important. The format has to be PNG and you have to have save transparency clicked or checked. That way we'll have the model all by herself. I'm going to click save. And it will take a second to save that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the catalog and we're going to get another image, this image of this winter scene. And I'm going to drop our model into this scene. So to do that, we have the image active. We'll go to edit. We're going to go to the layers panel on the far left, click the plus sign. At the very top, load image. Then go to the image we just exported, winter.png, and click open and it will put it up here under the category My Images. Now to get it on the image, just double click right on it, and it will take a second, and you'll see when it drops our model onto the image, it just puts her right in the middle, and the opacity is at 50%, so you have to go to Layers Properties and turn the opacity up to 100. Now you could grab a handle and resize the image. You could just click on the image and move it around to where you want, let's say maybe right here, maybe make it a bit bigger, like that. You also could use these buttons here or this drop down to change the blending mode. You rarely would have to change the blending mode for something like this. Or you could flip it horizontally or flip it vertically, which we don't have to do. You also could fit it to the screen, fill the screen, stretch it, which I'm not going to do. But in this case, let's just leave it like that and call it a day. And I'll close down layer properties and you'll see that the handles will disappear when I do that. And you can see that her hair looks fine. So it did really a nice job. Just that one little spot I needed to refine. But the next one we're going to do is going to be a little more difficult. It's this model. And we're going to clip her out of this scene and put her into a different scene. We're going to go to edit. Then we're going to go to layers properties or layer properties. We're going to go to masking, portrait, background. It examine the image. Now we're going to click remove. And what's it do? Well, it first glance, it looks pretty good. 
but there is this little tiny spot right here by her hair and there is this spot by her hand and her thigh. It didn't clip that out at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the refinements brush, specifically the transition brush. And what we want to do is paint right in this area. Now, you don't have to worry about trying to go right on the edge. I'm just going to get a brush that covers everything. And I'm just going to paint right in here, like right over that. Let go and let it do its thing. And you can see it clip that out. Now this area, small area by your hair, just get a smaller brush, maybe even smaller than that. And we'll just do a quick little brush stroke right there. Let it do its thing and it clip that out. Now we'll close this tool down and you can see our clip out now. It's perfect around your hand and it's good around your hair. We'll close that down. I mentioned we're going to drop her into another scene. Now remember the last one we did, those handles were out way wide. If you want it a little easier to manage, you don't need all these blank pixels, so we could crop it. So get the crop tool. We're going to go to a free crop. We're just gonna grab this handle on the far left and pull it way in. And the one on the far right, and pull that way in, because we don't need all those blank pixels. And pull this down, just like that. When, you want, when you're ready, commit to the crop, just close the crop tool. Now we'll export this to the disk. And this one, we're going to give the name Summer. Not Summer, Summer, there we go. And it's going to be, again, the PNG file, Save Transparency, click Save. Let it do its thing. Then we're gonna go to Catalog, and we'll put her in this scene. She doesn't exactly match this scene, but I want to demo what you could do about that. Now, we have this scene, we're gonna to go to the Edit Panel. We're going to go to Layers, click on the plus sign, load the image. By the way, once you load these images here, they're here forever until you delete them. Let me show you. I'm going to click open. So it's there. They'll be there forever. I could delete them off my desktop and they'll always be here. I don't have to make sure they're always on my desktop. If you ever want to get rid of one, just right click on it and click on remove. But this one, this new one we just put here, double click on it to add it to the image. There it is. Go to opacity, put that at 100. Now you see why I cropped it. The handles are a little more easily accessible. And we'll move her maybe over in here somewhere. Okay, and when you're ready with that, just close down layer properties. The handles will disappear. Now, I mentioned it doesn't necessarily match the scene too well. Uh, first of all, where I clipped out here, where I did the refinements, looks pretty good. So it did well. But it may be a bit too warm for the scene and you may want to adjust it, or maybe you want to adjust the image overall. Well, you have two layers here. The active layer right now is the image of the model. You can see it has the blue box going around it. So if I go to say the develop tool and I go to exposure, you'll see it's only going to affect the model. So if I want to do an adjustment to the background, I need to click on that, make that active. Then when I go to that exposure, it only affects that. So you need to be aware of that. So what we're going to do though is we're going to, as I mentioned, go to this model, and I already have this. I'm going to get rid of that, but we'll go to tools, we'll go to um, color, and no, you know what? I think we'll just go to the develop, and we'll go to color here, and the color temperature. I just need to cool it off just a little bit, just to have her better kind of match into the scene. A little bit too warm. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. So just like that, now you could do your processing. So just remember, you do have two layers, so you'll have to do processing on each of those layers uh, independently of one another. Unfortunately, at this point in its development, Luminar Neo doesn't have like the ability to put a stamped layer. That means to stamp these two together and put a layer on top or to flatten it. So you just have one layer and then your adjustments affect everything just can't do that yet in Luminar Neo. So hopefully that will be something that will be added down the road. So that's it. That's portrait background removal in Luminar Neo. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.